the seeds for the importance of education were planted by your parents and you had some role models and some of your cousins. So then once you're in the States, then how, what is that experience for you? And at what moment did you realize that your trajectory was a little bit different than others? You know, we were so focused when we got here. We knew what the purpose of our journey into this country was. And that was that opportunity. And that was a better education. And so I was so excited when I first got to the U.S. And, you know, the school had computers. I had never had a computer in my school before. Um, And I remember the first time I ever took uh, a state test. It was at the time called the uh, CSAP. It was like the Colorado State Testing. And um, I did so well on the exam because I was able to take it in Spanish that they told my mom, like, well, we can test her into a gifted and talented program. And I remember being taken aside to do this testing. And I remember sitting in front of these tests and looking at them and just like tears streaming down my face because I couldn't understand anything that was in the paper in front of me. And so I just felt like this big dream of of coming here and having this great education, like somehow I was guilty for not speaking English, for not being at a place where I could test into that program. And I remember being so determined that day to be like, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna learn very fast. And my dad gifted me this little red dictionary and I would look up every single word and I would form sentences and bring them to my teacher. And that's how I started to learn to read and write in English pretty fast. And so I, you know, from that moment became really devoted to my education, to doing the absolute best that I could and to be able to set myself up for the kind of trajectory my parents came to this country to fight for. And it was really in high school when I started to understand what it meant for me to be both have this dream of college and also be undocumented. And I grew up knowing I was undocumented. My parents were very clear about like what that status meant and, you know, would say to us like, don't share this with anybody because this could put us in in big danger. And I grew up so ashamed of of that story. And I grew up so ashamed of who I was because of that, because of this big secret that I carried. 